The World is Awake by Lindsay Davis. This is the day the Lord has made. A butterfly floats through the sun and the shade, while dragonflies flit past the flowers and trees, and grasshoppers hop in the soft morning breeze. And the bees, busy bees, are buzzing today as ladybugs call them to come out and play. There's the ladybugs and the bees flying around. Just look at the sunshine that's painted in the sky and look at the songbirds all starting to fly. The world is awake. It's a wonderful place, alive with God's power and glad with his grace. God's power and his grace. Out in the yard, just waiting today, are all kinds of things that want us to play. The gifts of the Lord are found everywhere. And all that I see is just like a prayer. So much of creation is happy and good. Even the rocks would sing if they could. It's in praise of the Lord that the trees grow so tall that grass grows so green, and the flowers all call. Look at us, look at us, God dressed us up too, like great sweeping rainbows and skies wrapped in blue, like water in sunshine and summer days too, and you, beautiful you. Look at God's creation and how beautiful everything that he made is including you. And later today, what shall we do? I know, I know, let's go to the zoo. We can buy a balloon and meet a baboon. We can look at the animals all afternoon. See that bear over there? He's just trying to snooze despite all the noise from the young kangaroos. Hmm, what sound does the bear make? Does he growl? Does he snore? Let me hear your best bear noise. Great job, guys. The slippery otters were swimming along. The playful coyotes are howling along. Can you guys howl? Oh! I love zebras and lions and elephants too, pandas and penguins and owls that call whoo, peacocks and panthers, a great mountain sheep, and that grumpy old bear who is trying to sleep. Will they let that bear sleep in peace? All these beautiful creatures God created and the poor bear can't get a rest. A break. Can't get a rest. He just can't. Down at the zoo, they're all on parade and the wonderful creatures the good Lord has made. What animals do we see here? Let's see. We have a hippo, a tiger, a lion. The lion goes roar! We have a koala bear. An alligator, ooh, a pretty pink flamingo, and a zebra. What else do we have? We have a happy little penguin and a giraffe with its long neck. We have a kangaroo, a sweet little panda bear, an elephant, and a monkey that goes ooh, 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 ah!
My belly sounds like that bear when it growls. It's time for supper. My tummy now howls. So let's stop at the market for something to eat. God always provides us with wonderful treats. Yep, God provided all the food that you eat. Your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, your snacks. At supper time, I take my chair and bow my head and say a prayer. To thank the Lord for all this food, for carrots cooked and apples stewed. For milk and juice and bread and cheese, for even Brussels sprouts and peas. It tastes so good, I eat and then I thank the Lord for food again. I thank God for the food that he provided. That's why we say grace before we eat. And when my belly, and with my belly full, I start to <sighs> yawn. The light outside is almost gone. It's not daytime anymore. Now it's night. And they're ready for bed. Such a large book. Up in the trees, high in the leaves, I hear God's love in the sound of the breeze. The wind is whispering stories tonight. And far above, the moon shines bright. So I say my prayers and climb into bed, then snuggle up close while my books are read. The comforting night feels calm and deep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep. Calling me down to a dreamy sleep. Calling me down to a dreamy sleep. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this book as much as I did. I love to look around and see all the wonderful things that God has created. From the birds and the bees to all the plants and the food that we eat, even to you. God created you and you are beautiful and special. And God made you with a purpose to fulfill on his 